Hey family, we have some very exciting news. Homecoming is coming up, and with Homecoming, we get to have a great spirit week right before. This will include different themes every day and lots of school spirit. Spirit week of the 2021-22 school year is Monday, September 20th, all the way through Friday, September 24th. Monday, September 20th is going to be the theme Starry Night. Wear your PJs to school. Tuesday, September 21st, we will have the theme of Twinkle Twinkle Twin Day. Wednesday, September 22nd, we will do All-Star Day. Thursday, September 23rd is Northwest Trek Day. Our last Spirit Day will be Friday, September 24th, Bear Wear and Senior Toga. More details are to come for each event, but plan to bring school spirit every day and let's have a great week. Go I'm Bears! I'm so excited for Spirit Week this week! I am so excited for Spirit Week this week, but I don't remember what Tuesday is. It's Twinkle Twinkle Twin Day! There, there we go. go! Get ready bears, tomorrow is Twinkle Twinkle Twin Day! Make sure you grab a friend and twin with them, or you can twin with Pepper. Pepper will be wearing a white t-shirt and blue jeans. Go, go Bears! bears. <laughs>this is Matt Grant, principal at Olympia High School. Last week it came to my attention that one of our students made a homophobic and hateful social media post that created great harm to our community, especially to community members who identify as LGBTQ+. I want to start by saying that I denounce any comments that degrade, disparage, or hurt any members of our community. We have a vibrant LGBT community at Olympia High School, which includes students, parents, faculty, and staff, who we welcome and love. OHS must remain a place where this community feels safe, valued, and free to come to school as their authentic and full selves. Although this post was made outside school, it created significant harm to our school community. Our LGBTQ community must deal with ignorance, discrimination, and bias every day. The intolerance and homophobia in our community leads to tragic outcomes for far too many people in our community. You may be aware that the suicide rate for our LGBT youth are much higher than the general population. Many feel isolated and hopeless from the rejection, harassment, and violence inflicted by individuals who do not understand or who will not accept their identity. This is unacceptable. Every student at OHS has a right to feel safe and free from hateful comments and actions targeting a fundamental part of who they are. I have heard from many students who are rightfully angry and deeply disheartened by bias incidents like this one where they are made to feel less than others. This incident has impacted our entire community. If you feel personally impacted, we want you to know that we see you, we love you, and we value you. No one should suffer alone because of this incident. We want to make sure that our LGBTQ plus community in particular feels supported. We want to work with you to find a way to help us as a community heal and move forward in a positive way. At our school, we value only love, which means that all people are welcomed and celebrated. We will need to speak out when we hear disparaging comments like these. I am appreciative of students, staff, and community members who took the time to bring this to my attention. It shows me that our students value themselves and their friends enough to speak out about hate and value our community enough to demand accountability and repair. All of us can follow their example to speak out against hate, to advocate for ourselves and for others, and to celebrate the diversity of all people in our community. At OHS, we also strive to promote restorative justice. This means that when you cause harm to your community, you must work to make amends, wherever possible. The student who made these comments has expressed remorse and a willingness to participate in the restorative process. Ultimately, the best outcome for all of us is to have one more student who understands and is responsible for the impact of his actions and who has the potential to become an empathetic and accepting community member who has the skills to succeed in a diverse world. Our hope is that he will continue to work with us to bring repair to all those impacted. His willingness to participate provides some optimism moving ahead. We value responsible citizenship at OHS, and that means working together with all people from all identities in our pursuits of personal excellence. It means stepping up for those who have different backgrounds, interests, values, and talents. Together we can learn from this incident and create an OHS that is stronger and more accepting by doing the difficult work of community repair together. Again, to our valued LGBTQ plus students, we want you to know that this behavior is not acceptable in our school. More importantly, we want you to know that you are welcomed and valued here. Again, please reach out to your counselor or administrator if you need support. And for those of us who identify as straight, please show your love, care, and support 
to your LGBTQ plus classmates. Let's work together to demonstrate the kind of school OHS truly is, one that accepts and values our diversity. Thank you very much.